All right, I'm going to show y'all a couple things I'm doing to my tractor here. Just creature comfort modifications. Things that will improve it for me. Let me move these uh, brake pedals out of the way. All right, you see that's the throttle down there with the orange knob on it. All right, it's sitting straight like that. That is not very comfortable at all. I'm not sure why a deer didn't set it over here. All the other tractors I've had have had them at an angle like that to work. When you're sitting on a tractor, that's a lot more comfortable with your foot at an angle rather than trying to hold it, hold your toe in to keep it on there. All right, so what I'm going to do, this is an electric controlled uh, throttle right here. It's just got a plug. I've already unplugged. It's just three bolts that hold the, hold the whole thing in. I'm fixing to take it. Take it out. I'm going to pull this plastic piece off. And I've got a rod, a, um, uh, a metal rod, and I'm going to extend it out. I'm going to weld it to it, weld it square, and weld it to it. And uh, the world will be out here like this. Where it'll be more comfortable to run. And I took... Some of y'all going to scream, but I'm going to show you all this. Anyhow, I took the cover, the cover off that comes out to about right here that actually covers the PTO. And the reason I did is because this one, this cover on this tractor does not fold all the way up out of the way. So what happens is it wouldn't be too bad without the quick hitch on here. But with the quick hitch on here, you just about can't get to the PTO to unhook it and hook it and so I just went ahead it's just four bolts I took it off to where it would be in the open to where I can get to it easier and hook and hook and unhook it uh, I did a little bit of oiling on the lift arms right here to where it loosen that up it's actually got looks like some fiber stuff in there to where if that doesn't really because it's kind of tight right now if that don't suit me i see some bolts there where i can back it off and make it a little bit freer which is is no big deal i'm fixing to adjust that canopy down that thing's lean back i don't like it i'm gonna more level it and uh where to where it will uh fix that up but so I'm just doing a little, little stuff like that on it's what I'm doing. I'll, I'll film some more when I go to weld this uh, rod on there. So there's the bolts right there. It's just three bolts hold it. I've already unplugged it. See, that's it right there. Out. So I'm just going to take and weld straight on it right there. I've got a piece of rebar right there. It'll fit it just the right diameter. Got a little bit of texture to it. Keep your feet from slipping. I think that's what I'm going to put on it there. So there it is. It's a piece of rebar. It'll be fine for what I'm going to be doing. Just put my foot on it. A little bit of texture. And I'm going to weld it on there. I've got it beveled. We'll clean the paint off of this right here. I'm fixing to tag it on there. And uh, if it's too long, I'll just I'll, I'll trim it off. I just left it like that right now. We'll see how it, we'll see how it works there. So as you can see, that's what it looks like with the paint on and finished up. Right there. Don't look too bad. Don't look too bad. I think the rubber piece, little rubber orange piece, will slide right back on that rebar too right there. But that's going to help out a lot. I'll slide it back on if it'll go on. That's going to help out a lot on the uh, angle of that thing up there. Allow me to turn my foot over to the, uh, to the right a little bit. All right, I got it on there. You see it right there how it looks. So I'll paint it. This rubber piece will slide on there, but I think I'm going to leave this off. I think I'm going to leave this off, put it over there in my storage over there, and leave it just like it is. But that is going to be a lot better. I'll jump up there and show you. So you can see I'll push the pedal down out of the way. Before, I had to keep my foot right there on it. Man, that was crazy. So now, now I can sit my foot over to the side like that. Right. That's a lot better. So I uh, 
simple fix of fixing to uh, adjust this canopy now. I have done almost went out this door like five or six times to hook up to the bush hog and bring it in here, grease it, and bush hog some here. But every time I do, it starts back raining. So I'm going to fix and go ahead and do the canopy. Uh, I'm going to drop the tractor off Monday, uh, which would be May, 6th, 7th, May the 8th. And uh, they're going to put the loader on it for me here, is what they're going to do at the dealer. So I'm going to drop it off and leave it with them and let them get on it this next week and stick the loader on it. Then when I get the loader, then I can put the hydraulic third valve on the tractor. I will film that myself. People ask me about filming, putting a loader on. I'm not going to be out there when a the loader is being put on. They're just It's not possible for me to make time. And I'm not sure exactly which day they're going to do it. I'm just going to give them the week to do it. They're really busy out there right now. Farmers are really killing it, you know, busting tail right now. And next week's supposed to be a pretty week, so they'll I'm sure they'll be busy at the dealer. So they'll probably work it in as they can work it in. But here's the thing with the loader. I need y'all to help me a little bit or give me some suggestions and everything. I've already got uh, some prices on some buckets, but John Deere has their own mountain system. They're, it's called Global or something. It's, it's something crazy. Predominantly, everything is skid steer, quick attach mountain now. And even my case tractor that I had, I bought new in 2004, it had skid steer quick attach. That means it, it just you just pull right up to it. It's just a plate there, and you just hook up hook up under it. And when you when you catch it, then you flip these two levers down, and the bucket or a forks or auger or whatever is attached to it. Well, John Deere's is not like that. Theirs is called some kind of global or something, which I mean it's a good attach. But if you've got skid steer stuff like what we do already you can't use that skid steer stuff like on this tractor like i can't put the forks on it you know i can't put the hydraulic auger on it or nothing like that and i'm like heck with that that almost was a deal breaker for me for buying this tractor and but i found out that you could order the loader with the skid steer quick attach plate on it already and get it without a bucket so that's what i did so i've got the loader coming and the loader doesn't have a bucket on it. I'm not going to use a bucket very much at all. I mean, just maybe a little bit of moving rock around on the driveway or something, just kind of touch up work, or maybe a little bit of scooping dirt here or there. You know, maybe you know pushing something, maybe cutting up some limbs, and throwing, just convenience like that. So I, I know I'm going to have to have a bucket, and I need a skid steer Quick, atta uh, quick attach mount on the back of the bucket when I mount to it. Well, I'd like to just find me just a used one. I've priced some new ones, and I know what I can get me a new one for. And I'm just going to see, man, maybe one of y'all out there somewhere have one. I need a 6-foot, a 72-inch is what I need to match this tractor. I don't care what color it is because I can paint it any color. And matter of fact, that's what I'm going to If I get a new one, if I get a new one, it'll actually be a Kubota bucket, and I'm going to paint it green. <clears throat> Because I like the Kubota buckets, <coughs> the the height of them and everything. So that's what I'll do. But if one of y'all out there has an extra bucket or something like that, you're wanting to get rid of or know where one is or something that I can get uh, decent, uh, you know, hit me, you know, shoot me an email. Uh, my email is the same thing as my YouTube channel name cotton top three c-o-t-o-n-t-o-p it's just got one t in it at yahoo.com and uh let me know because i'm all if i don't have something going by the time i get the loader on there by the end of the next week i'm probably gonna go ahead and uh just order a bucket order a new one and uh put on there and and be done with it so hope y'all enjoyed this little segment on tractor uh i was gonna do some bush hogging, but like I said, every time I go to go out there, they're going to start training. So, uh, I may get some video of this tractor this weekend, doing some work. I'm not sure if I will or not, uh, but I'll, uh, you know, next time y'all see it, it may have a loader sitting on it. I don't know, but we'll catch y'all later. Uh, y'all have a good rest of the weekend, and uh, 
subscribe to me share my stuff around Friday's video with the GoPro on the saw bar I had some some unreal comments on it you know talking about how you know it's cool never been done this that and the other and that's what I want to do I want to raise the bar I want to keep continually raising the bar bringing stuff that camera angles that, that you hadn't necessarily seen before or anything like that that's what I want to do and uh, you know I want I want to get one of those videos that really hits it good, you know what I mean? But I appreciate y'all watching me. Thank y'all. Later, taters.